Hi, welcome back to Feminism on Trial. Uh, I know we've all heard about this topic ad nauseum, so I'll keep it short and sweet if I can. Stay tuned to the end because I do have a prediction um, about how this is all going to end, and I'd like to share it with you and, and see what you guys think. So, the Will and Jada slap at the Oscar fiasco. Well, two things that haven't been talked about that I, have, I haven't heard. Number one, um, let's, let's give them the argument that it was a joke about Jada being bald and, you know, her alopecia, something Chris Rock should have known about, blah, 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 and it's this terrible disease. Let's give them all of that, okay? So I'll say, fine, okay, you win that argument. Guess what? People have been making fun of bald men forever. I've had friends who are male, who are bald, make fun of it themselves. Their male friends make fun of it. The women make fun, the wives. It's like, it's like a running joke and it doesn't seem to be taken personally. Maybe it hurts their feelings, but does anyone care because it's a man, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, watch anything with Steve Harvey, like a Family Feud, you know, episode, and you'll see, like they make fun of People make fun of bald men all the time and nobody's slapping anybody, okay? But it happens one time in public with a woman and all hell breaks loose. That should tell you a lot about the different ways that men and women are treated in our society. Okay, so that last time we gave them the argument that, okay, she's, you know, bald because it's alopecia and it was a joke about it. That's where I also have an issue, and this is the bigger one. It wasn't a joke. It wasn't a joke. Um, G.I. Jane was a movie in which Demi Moore, in her prime, played a woman attempting to become a Navy SEAL. She had to go through all of the training and she was kicking ass and it was like, you know, go women, yay feminism, show those men what you can do, they're gonna doubt you, you're gonna prove them wrong, and you know, it was such a feminist movie. It was a female empowering movie, supposedly. Um, so, you know, you watch that, double feature, G.I. Jane, Thumb and Louise, woo! I am woman, hear me roar. But Demi Moore was portrayed as strong, still beautiful, smart, tough, all of those things, all of those things that a woman is in this world and is supposed to aspire to be, okay? So when Chris Rock said, Jada, G.I. Jane, the sequel or whatever he said, looking forward to seeing it. He was complimenting her. He was saying, you look beautiful, you look empowered, you look, you know, all of these things. It was a compliment in her world. It was a compliment. In her empowered woman, I am strong, blah, blah, blah. It was a compliment. And no, I, I haven't heard anybody say that. Like, I don't get it. I don't, I just, I don't get that. Um, there's all the other things people have said, but I haven't heard those two things. Now, for the prediction. Sadly, I worry about Will Smith's state of mind. He is a man clearly in a toxic relationship, clearly under the, uh, I don't know, the rule of Jada. He was laughing at the joke until he looked at her and she rolled her eyes and boy, did he jump up, you know? Uh, and look what he's lost over it. Um, he... I mean, it didn't start here, obviously. I mean, we've seen the memes with the tears streaming down his face when she's talking about, you know, their open marriage and how she's, you know, found herself and blah, blah, blah. And she doesn't look at that, you know, those entanglements. She calls her affairs or whatever you want to call them. She calls them entanglements. She thinks that they've helped the marriage and they've helped her. And he has to sit there. Well, he doesn't have to, but he does. He sits there and he listens to it you know, on social media. Why? Because it promotes her red table talk. He doesn't do it for himself. He doesn't do it to make himself look better. You know, this is, this is an abusive relationship towards him. 
And my prediction is, unless something changes, their trajectory to me looks like this may be another casualty. He may end up seeing no way out of this and end up sadly taking his own life. And um, every day I wake up, I think, is this gonna be another casualty of another man in a situation like this that has no way, way out, is completely humiliated and certainly can't stand up to his woman. He knows he'll be hated. What is he gonna do? There, I mean, he can't do anything except for, you know, really stand up and piss a lot of people off. And I just don't see him doing that. So we'll watch and see. Tell me what you think about my prediction Th tell me what you think about the two issues I brought up and uh, see you next time. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.